it's interesting how powerful encouragement can be. I don't think we fully appreciate what kindness and encouragement does for another human being. But the Apostle Paul in the early church, I think understood. I think Jesus gave him a clear picture and, and, and certainly Jesus was an encourager to those who were on the outskirts, those that no one else would love, that they tried to shun. Jesus brought in and loved and encouraged them. And, and so I wanna read something because the early church in Thessalonica was so curious about the return of the Lord. And I think they believed it was close. And Paul says to them, the day of the Lord's coming will be like a thief in the night. In other words, it's gonna surprise most people. If most people are not gonna be prepared, they're not going to know. It's gonna just take them by surprise, like a thief in the night. And then he says, because this is true, put on love as a breastplate, the hope of your salvation as a helmet. And he concludes this thought with this. Therefore, 1 Thessalonians 5.11, therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. Would Paul write these words about the church today? Encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing? I'm not so sure. There's certainly places where the church is doing a beautiful job of building and encouraging and loving. But I wanna challenge us today. What does it look like for us to up our game when it comes to loving and encouraging one another. It's one of the great gifts we can give to each other. So, so why not use it more fully? Jesus lived and ministered this way. He loved the broken and those that no one else would reach out to, he gave a hand and encouraged them and loved them. So as we think about today and this week, what does it look like to encourage and love one another more fully than perhaps we're doing today. That's my challenge. God bless you. Can't wait till I see you next week.